Dustin. I'm Howard. And today we're going to go through a freshwater tank replacement. On the unit behind us, um, it was equipped with a 42 gallon freshwater tank. And we're going to replace it with an Icon aftermarket replacement. Some things that you need to take into consideration when you get started is we'll have to expose the tank. And that means we got to take off the core plast, or in some campers, they have a plastic underbelly. That all has to come off. Nice thing about a freshwater tank is we can measure it in place. Um, most of the time, a freshwater tank isn't too complex. On this unit, we were able to, to have a look at it while it's underneath the unit. And once you have it measured um, on this unit, you'll want to look at your fitting locations. With freshwater tanks, it, it's not too complex like some holding tanks or, or black tanks. There's not as many different options. So on this unit, it has four fitting locations. Every tank you want to look at replacing will have four fittings. They are an inlet, which would be your, your gravity fill, your vent, which vents your tank, which is very important because if you don't vent your tank properly, it can cause some serious damage to your camper. You have your pump, and on the bottom side, this tank has your drain at the bottom here. These fittings, these three are all half inch fittings where your inlet is your inch and a quarter. Some units, not like this one, you'll have a flush inch and a quarter where you can thread in an inch and a quarter barb to connect your hose if you don't have the right configuration. So we also have four level sensors, uh, which are fairly common and standard on freshwater tanks with this style. So once you have that measured out and your fitting locations, grab our book, flip over to the freshwater tank section. If you don't want to look at our catalog, or you don't have access to our catalog, contact our customer service team, go on our website, and they can help you out in finding your exact replacement tank. Okay, so there's a couple of ways of mounting the tank and getting it supported from underneath. Two options commonly found are flat bar, which will rest on your C channels of your camper. As you can see on this one, they had one here, there, and over there. Three different points of contact. Another option is perforated strapping. This is very common in your home hardware stores or at different RV repair centers because it's so universal. If you're going to add a bigger fresh tank to your unit or you weren't able to save your strapping by getting out your old tank, this is a very simple retrofit. So I would just go in the same area across. What you're doing is you're removing the sag from your freshwater tank. By doing this, you're allowing your tank to drain properly to the sump versus having a, a bagged out area. When you're doing your winterization for the year and stuff like that where you want to drain 100% of the water, areas like this can collect water and it'll wreck your tank. So by supporting it properly underneath, your tank can fully drain and you can do your winterization and just de-sterilization uh, properly.